is up youtube it's your boy angler boy t black checking in with a whole nother video y'all and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to salt and or preserve your saltwater fishing baits this goes for shrimp ballyhoo mullet thread fin herring like i'm using today pilchards sardine even squid or octopus guys all you need for this is iodized salt which everyone typically has at home plastic tupperware or any container this could even be done in a ziploc bag but i prefer personally the tupperware and lastly a few paper towels just maybe five or six of those depending on how many baits you want to store so without any further ado guys let's get into it stick around Alrighty guys, I got my baits right here, my thread fin herring as you can see, my paper towels here, salt right here, and my Tupperware there. First thing I want to do is get two or three paper towels just like this, and I'm going to probably dry like three or four baits with that each, every two paper towels, or as many as I can, so I'm going to just lay them down there. And you want to make sure your baits are super dry, guys. You don't want to make these ba these baits wet because it defeats the purpose of absorbing the moisture with the salt. So the first thing you want to do is dry your baits. Just like that. And as I dry them, I'm going to just lay them off to the side. That's one dried bait. Just like that. Look, guys, no moisture on my hands. That's two. Another way to dry them is just hold them and just lightly rub them in the same directions as the scales, just like that. So I'll hold them by the head and pull towards the tail. You don't want to go against the scales. By doing this, you'll be able to make the, the paper towel go a lot longer, y'all. So you just want to squeeze them, nice little press, not too much. You don't want them to explode. And right there, I got a couple. I'm gonna keep going here. This is very easy, y'all. Hopefully, this video helps a lot of you guys. If it does, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. But this, basically, this process dehydrates your baits. And that's what you want. You don't want them moist because that moisture, once it's frozen, like when you just take it from the bait store or from the, wherever you catch them, at your pier or at your local docks, if you just slap those in the freezers, we all know what happened. They kind of get mushy as they thaw out throughout the duration of the trip. But these won't do that, guys, as you guys are going to see. So I'm going to just keep uh, wiping the moisture off all these baits. And then I'll get back to you when I'm done for the next step, y'all. Alrighty, guys, as you can see right here, I got my baits and they're nice and dry. Check that out, no moisture on my hands, just scales. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna take my my Tupperware, my container, and or my Ziploc bag. I ain't knocking it guys, whatever you choose to use works for me. So I got my salt, I like to go personally with a nice little bed of salt in the bottom of my container. Just like that, cover the whole bottom so that when I lay that first row of pil of baits, thread fin herring in my case, the, the that bottom side still gets a nice coating. So once you got that, that bed of pilchard, that bed of salt in there, guys, sorry, what you want to do is take your baits and lay them in. Since mine are pretty big, I'm going to be going the long way, but you want to take them fit as many as you can in the bottom and then keep going up so I probably can get one more in there just like that so I can go four deep and then I take it my salt one more time nice layer on top just like that y'all nice layer of salt cover the whole bait the whole bait whatever bait you're using cover the whole bait I keep wanting to call these pilchards for some reason because I always 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 use pilchards guys so now I'm gonna go with another layer, just like that. This is a super easy process, guys. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. 
because it helps me i do this every 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 time i get myself some baits i almost overdid it with that last one throw some more salt on top of these last batch the last batch that i just put inside you can go extra generous guys also you can reuse this salt for the next batches that you guys preserve all you have to do is once you take your baits out keep the salt in the container or in the ziploc bag whatever you decided to use it in and then you can leave it out in the sun guys uncovered or if it's in a bag leave the bag open and let it sit hours in the sun and it's going to dry back up to its normal state because of course the sun is going to dry out all the moisture from the salt you might lose maybe a quarter of the amount of salt that you use but hey it's better than nothing either way i got this one for like 79 cents to a dollar you could pick them up at family dollar wherever guys but let's get back into it finish this video off nice and strong i know this is going to help some of you guys i think i got one to two more layers probably go sideways with this guy nah all of them gonna go like this shove that one in there and lastly this one on top and then i'm gonna go finish off with some more salt in my case i'm gonna finish this off y'all because like i said you can reuse it i don't typically reuse it personally i just buy another one but i'm just letting you guys know all of the tips whether i use them or not y'all know how i like to do it but there you have it y'all i got my baits preserved nice and salted look like they just came out of a snowstorm or some sort of a blizzard and that's what you want because now the moisture is gonna seep through the fish down to the bottom of my container and that's the reason why i like to use a container because if not you'll have a bunch of moisture in the bottom of your ziploc bag and the only way that you can get it out is to open the bag and pour it through the top or to puncture a little hole in the bottom and let it drain out just like that so there you have it guys there's nothing else much to it all you want to do is now cover this set it in the freezer I'm not going to show you guys setting in the freezer because it's going to be pretty dark and the quality of the footage is going to suck. But this is what you want to do, y'all. That's all you have to do to preserve your baits. And then for me, I never let my bait sit less than three hours. If I have to rush and use them, I'll use them because it's going to start the process like immediately. But I like to let it sit if I have the time completely overnight, guys, while I'm sleeping. And catching my z's and my rests i like to at least six to eight hours before i want to use these baits so being that i'm gonna use these probably tomorrow it's about six o'clock now i wake up six o'clock from now it's gonna be at least 10 hours and these baits will be ready and they'll be dehydrated preserved salted and ready to go y'all i'm not sure how good or how well the gopro is gonna pick this up y'all but I can see the moisture already seeping through the salt, making indentations of that bottom side of that first layer of fish in the container, y'all. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that as well. But once again, guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. I know this one has been requested by a couple of my beautiful subscribers down below in the comments. If you guys got any ideas, tips, or any ways to make this video or any of my other videos better, Feel free to comment down below, guys. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, as you already know. And peace, y'all. See you in the next one.